What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Super Carmio. Hope you guys are having a great day. On today's video we're going to be working on my 2003 Evo 8. For those of you that are new here, it is a pretty much basic bolt-on Evo. It's got an FP71 HTA turbo, which is a stock frame turbo. We've got 1120cc injectors and pretty much all the support and mods. And we've been tuning it ourselves as well. Um, right now it makes around 330 or so to the wheels. So with all the tuning that we've been doing, um, I figured it's a good time to replace the spark plugs. We're going to be going with the BPR AES spark plugs. Um, and before we replace those, I also thought it would be a good idea to do a compression test. Um, this motor does have around 150,000 miles, so I do want to just do kind of a pulse check on it before we move forward with some more mods like E85 and bigger cams. So with all of that out of the way, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is compression test the Evo. Um, and to start that off, we're going to just turn it on, go take it for a spin, let everything warm up and then we'll bring it back in the driveway, remove all of the spark plugs, and then I'll pick up from there on how to compression test your Evo. Now that the car is nice and warm, what we're going to do is remove our coil packs and spark plug cover. Uh, mine is going to be a little bit different because I do have this COP conversion. So we'll remove that and then remove all of our spark plugs. It is a good idea to blow out any stuff that might be inside of those holes. Then after that, what we're going to do is disconnect this plug right here, this triangle plug. I believe it's some sort of crank sensor that will prevent the car from starting. One last thing before we get started, you do want to make sure your battery is in good condition. Um, you do want the starter to get as much power as possible so that you could achieve the proper cranking RPM, which will affect your compression readings. Then we'll screw in our compression tester adapter for this spark plug fitting. And just hand tight, you'll want to go crazy with that. And then connect that to our gauge. All right, at this point, you'll have a helper inside of the car holding the throttle open, um, just so you can fill the cylinders with as much air as possible. And again, the car should be at operating temperature, and we're just gonna watch the gauge um, and just watch it until it stops climbing, and we'll record that value. Right, well the results are in and I am pretty happy this motor is pretty healthy we got 165 psi in the first two cylinders and 170 in the second two so I'm pretty happy with those numbers the standard values for an Evo 8 are 163 um, the wear limit is 138 and you do want to check the variation between your cylinders the max should be 14 psi keep in mind if you have an Evo 9 these numbers don't really apply to you they are much lower so don't freak out um, just look those up if you do have a 9 though. Alright, with our compression test done, we can install our new NGK BPR AES spark plugs. These are one step colder in heat range uh, than the stock plugs. Um, so they should be better for higher boost, 
bolt on evos and we are going to get these to 0.024 inches or about 0.6 millimeters. And I'll use this feeler gauge to check the gap. Again, I'm going for 0.024. So as you can see, that already fit. So I might have to close this down a little bit. I'm going to try putting in 0.025. Could fit that as well so I will have to close this down a little bit okay I think we're good so we're just gonna tighten these down hand tight Finally, we'll torque these down to 18 foot-pounds. All right, now we'll reinstall our coil packs, clean everything up, and plug in our crank sensor. Now that we have our new plugs installed, let's go take this thing out for a spin. All right, guys, that is gonna do it for today's episode. I know this was short and sweet, but hopefully you learned how to do a compression test on your Evo, and it will give you the peace of mind going forward if you're doing some more mods like me. In the next few episodes, we will work on some cool power mods, including cams and E85, like I said, and we'll work on adjusting the tune to suit those mods. I also wanna do a time and belt video just because this is due for its second time and belt, and I feel like a really in-depth in-car video could be super helpful for you guys so let me know if you agree anyways i will catch you in the next one peace out